Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change number of products in a row and number of products on the shop page. Although maybe there will be available plugins available to do this task, <coughs> but as you are a developer, so you should know that for these small things, you don't need to install a plugin. You can easily achieve this task by adding three or four lines of code in your functions.php file. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to take some of the help from WooCommerce Codex. I have already opened the codex and if you can see I have already here shown the codex <clears throat> in the search bar although I need to find the snippets like I go to snippet this is there must be a snippet for this purpose and you can see there are many but it will take some time to find where exactly it is located so I will simply type here number of products in a row I just simply type this number of products in a row and click on search and the search result shows me that change number of products per row and uh, there are many other options but I my concern is this change number of products per row and if you see it's in documentation codex snippets and theming snippets so this one basically is for those who are creating a theme for WooCommerce and want to provide some custom WooCommerce shop page like if you have designed a shop page where there are three products in a row rather than four five or six so then you can use this snippet and add that functionality easily by adding three or four lines in your functions.php file. So let's scroll down and basically here it says defines where first and last classes are applied in the product archives. Please be aware that some third party themes may be coded in a way that the snippet snippets below have no effect on layout. In this case we recommend you contact the theme author what it is trying to tell you that maybe if you are using a pre-made theme and you created a child theme and now you want to override the default number of uh, products in a row so be careful maybe it is already overridden in the parent so it's quite difficult and taunting job to find and replace because you have not developed that theme so that of course you need to take some time to find where it is actually defined or maybe or maybe there is a case that their particular theme already have an option in the its theme options or in customizer that you can change the number of products in a row here i'm talking about in a row not on the page so <coughs> let's get this code first it shows this one is for custom theme and this one is theme by Woo. if you have installed a theme by WooCommerce they have already added this loop in the priority of 999 so if you write this if you have a theme by Woo I mean the theme who have Woo themes by Woo themes then you need to add the code like this but as these tutorials are for intermediate and advanced users so of course you are building your own theme so you will go for this view raw and just copy this function and then move to your functions.php as you all know already that I am using 2017 child theme and I have created it using a plugin named child theme configurator if you don't know about them you can watch my previous tutorial on it so in your functions.php at the end of the line just paste paste that code and what this code do it add a filter loop shop column which is defined inside WooCommerce plugin 
and then it will run this function and if not function exists you can name it whatever you want loop column my loop column or whatever but this one they have used in default you can put it at by your any of your name you can give it any name so it is checking that whether this function already exists or not if it's not then it will create that function and return number of rows here it mentioned three so what this one will do it will display three products in a row so if we go back to our products page and we look here and refresh the page it is three but you may say it's already three because i haven't refreshed my page before adding this code so let me cut this code and save it and then i will refresh this page and you will see by default it have four row four products in a row so i will add the code here again uh, so here i will paste the code and save it and then reload the page basically there is no option available in uh, woocommerce settings that you can change number of products per row here there is no option where you can see where you can change number of products per page so this one is for this tutorial is for this purpose that you can change easily how many products you want to show okay now one thing i am showing this now in three rows three sorry three products in a row so if you see there is analyze there is a white space here this is we can cover this by adding a sidebar or by expanding the each product image and i mean each product size so if i inspect element and and go to a like class of that particular product and you see it's applied the width is 22.05 with this class so to override this i simply copy this copy it but before copying it let me see how much percentage if we give that it will not break down and, and you can see yes yes uh, 30 if we go beyond 30.05 or if i add 55 85 uh, yeah 30.75 percent then it will work perfectly with full screen and it will take the and it will look good as it was looking good before when it was four products in a row so i just right click on it copy it move to my style sheet child style sheet and paste this code here and after that width is equal to 30 percent before writing another css parameter or attribute which is not important uh, i mean not important doesn't mean that i say it's not important because i'm talking about this not important feature i will not use it first and then i will save and and reload the page and see if it works so it works without using not important uh, so i don't need to add that and now you see we have three rows three products in a row but there is a small problem if you scroll down you will see if you have more than two three pages suppose we, i have here four pages the last products is only one the last product is one in, because there are total 12 products on a row by default on the shop page woocommerce shows 12 products on the page so even if we go here in the settings we will not be able to find how many products you want to show on a page that is default 12 number 12 products per page so if you go to next page it will also be 12 products and so we want to make it like 9 or 15 9 or 15 so it looks good that 3339 3, 3, 9 or 3333 3, 3, 3, 15 uh, sorry 15 yeah so i will use 3 3 6 and 3 9 
it is 12 13 currently 3 3 uh, 3 3 6 3 9 and 10 sorry it is showing 10 products on the page 3 3 6 3 9 and 10 uh, yeah it is showing 10 products on the page so i can make it 12 so it will look good again i will take help from WooCommerce doc file and rather than finding again and here I say number of product in row I will type it on page number of products on page number of products on page search and if I see yeah, sorry uh, it should be showing here anyways it must be showing here I made a small mistake that why it's not showing it must be here change number of products per row change number of products per page basically this one is also a theming option so you see change number of products per page and we see number of products displayed per page so i clicked on it and here it shows me it shows us that this single line of code will do the trick I will copy this move to my functions.php file and at the end of line I just simply put this code so it says 24 I will change it to 12 I will explain what does it mean and later so I will just simply go and reload the page and now you see we have 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 and 3, 12 for each page. We have 12 products on each page. So let me explain to you what this code will do. This is actually creating dynamic uh, function. This create function is dynamically created. And we can modify this so it will look same like this. Let's call this number of products per page simple like that and 20 parameter by default it accept one parameter so I will write function number let me copy this copy paste number and columns it accept column as I'm not going to manipulate this column even I what sorry page page yeah, page I will simply do return how many 12 it's simple so this is the simple way that one was dynamically created function so I, will, I have converted it to this function so save this one and move to your browser and run it and it will output the same result which was provided by previous code where it was written in one line so guys i hope you like my this tutorial and next time i will be bringing more tutorials on wordpress and woocommerce this is that you see easy peasy job only adding few lines of codes you can easily manipulate this and adding some styling in your style sheet without overriding parent or without overriding WooCommerce itself. You can easily manipulate these things. So I do recommend you that you visit uh, codex of uh, this WooCommerce codex doc file and look for particular snippet as you need like 
this is front end uh, theming snippets these two snippets were theming snippets there are front end snippets so if we look we can find there everything we can customize so we will go through all these in my tutorial thank you very much for watching my tutorial i hope you liked it and if you did like it please do subscribe to my channel and i will be adding more and more tutorial in my channel if you don't know about my channel this is my perfect web solutions channel and uh, of course i am the one who's maintaining this plugin uh, sorry this uh, what you call channel so please do subscribe to this channel thank you once again bye bye take care